Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer and in this demonstration of System Centre Essentials 2010 I'm going to focus on reporting. I've got the Ski Main console open and I've got focus set to the reporting tab and at the top of the screen here you can see a list of folders and each one of these folders contains a group of reports. Some of these folders will be dependent on particular management packs you elected to deploy when you install the product. Others, like essential reports, will be there by default and if we look at one of those we can see a simple hardware summary for all of our machines just by double clicking on it. Many of the reports require parameters and this is no exception to that rule. So if I select all computers and hit run Here's that report. I've got four computers. Microsoft Corporation might look a little odd, um, but those are the virtual machines. Four virtual machines, as you can see. Various different operating systems, BIOS manufacturers, and so on. I can rerun the report with different parameters by clicking on this icon, and this icon here allows me to save the report off in a different format. Here's another example from virtualization. Because we selected System Center virtualization as part of the installation process, we get this pack of reports. And if I have a look at host utilization, I have to put in the name of the physical host, in this case, hotblank.contoso.com, and run that. And you can see the lineage of this report here with a logo at the top of the screen. If I run this report, it'll show how the virtual machines are performing that are running on this host. The odd thing about this report, and it applies to all of these SCVMM reports, is that it doesn't actually show up the System Center Essentials virtual machine itself in the reports. And that's a by design feature, so that you don't end up monitoring what you're doing the monitoring with, if that makes sense. As well as this list of reports, there are also reports scattered throughout the rest of System Center Essentials, and you might have seen those in earlier demos that I've done in this series. For example, if I go to All Windows Service here, you can see we've got a report here that we can look at hardware inventory, software deployment status, and so on, which are just inherited from these folders. So that's what you get out of the box, and as you install more monitoring packs, that list of reports might grow and grow. But how are these reports actually running, and can you control what they do in any way? The answer to both of those is essentially yes, because the reports themselves are reports that are written in SQL Server reporting services. And if you watch my installation video, you'll have seen that I needed to set that up when I installed System Center Essentials. I can get to the Report Manager, which is the portal that's created when you install reporting services, simply by opening the browser. And the normal format for that is the name of the server with WAC reports in front of it. I'll just change the layout of this screen. The details view. Leave it like that. And then if I go into reports in here, and then back to here, you can see that this list of folders, although it's not in the same order, is this list of folders here. And if I went into each one of these, we'd see the same reports. So going into the Essentials library, gives me a list of the essentials reports. There are other files in here as well, but this is the one that we're interested in. And I can double click and run one of these. However, there are other things that you can do from here. First of all, you can subscribe to this report. So we could actually turn this on and run it. That's not going to work if the report requires parameters. And there are other features and ways of doing that if you're using Enterprise Edition of SQL Server, but that's beyond perhaps the scope of this demo. The other thing you might be interested in doing is editing the report in Report Builder. And that opens a click once report designer that allows you to do just that. There isn't much to see on this report because a lot of this is done programmatically. 
of particular interest what I wanted to show you is that there are data sources in here, two connections to two different databases, the WSUS database and the Data Warehouse Maintenance database, and that those then provide these lists of reports. Now I can't click and edit those in here because these connections require credentials. But you could hand off this design to somebody who understands reporting services and they could customise this report for you. A top tip of course would be to save it as a different name and if I do that now and we call this um, Ski Demo and then I go back to Ski and go into the Essentials Report column here and refresh you can see my new report appears in here. So you can write reports and put them back into Ski if you wish to. So that's about it for reporting. It's completely integrated into System Center Essentials and if you want to customize it you can do so in Report Builder or in the SQL Server Business Intelligence Design Studio. In my next demonstration we're going to have a look at authoring, how you can create your own management packs.